In the last video, we learned about interfaces and how they can be used to create reusable code in object-oriented programming. In this video, we're going to cover two more important OOP concepts, inheritance and polymorphism. If this is the first video that you're watching in the series, I recommend clicking on the channel, hitting that subscribe button and finding the playlist. Starting from the beginning of the series, we'll make sure that everything makes sense. Okay. So inheritance, this is a way for one class to inherit the properties and behaviors of another class. This will allow you to create a new class that is a modified version of the existing class without having to rewrite all of the code from the original class. Let's explore an example. Let's say that we have a shape class with a method area that we use to get the area of the shape. Now, let's say that we want to create a circle class that has all the properties and behaviors of the shape class, plus a few extra ones that are more specific to circles. We can do this using inheritance. As you can see, the circle class extends the shape class, which means it has all of the properties and behaviors of the shape class, plus the extra ones that we defined. In this case, we've added a radius property to the class and we've updated the implementation of the area method that calculates the area of the circle. And that takes us on nicely to polymorphism. Polymorphism is the ability of a class to take on multiple different forms. In PHP, we can achieve polymorphism through inheritance and method overriding. Method overriding is when a subclass provides a new implementation of a method that inherited from a parent class or superclass. For example, we saw earlier how the circle class overrided the area method that it inherited from the shape class, providing its own implementation. This allows us to create objects of different subclasses, but treat them the same because they all have the same method names and signatures. As you can see in this example, we have three objects of different subclasses, circle, square, triangle. But because they all implement the same area method that was inherited from the shape class, we can call this area method on all of them to add up their areas together. This is more of an educational example to allow me to articulate how inheritance and polymorphism work in PHP. But in the real world, we probably make use of interfaces that we learned about in the last episode and abstract methods and classes, which we're going to learn about in the next episode, along with some other more advanced OOP techniques like traits. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to catch the rest of the series and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.